Good evening and welcome back to Bloodborne. I have decided I'm going to give the Chalice Dungeons another shot. So Lower Thumerian Labyrinth is where we're headed. Layer 2. I did the first layer. It was rough times. Uh, I seem to recall spiders being a thing. Like red demon bell ringing woman spiders. And then also regular spiders up on the ceiling, and it was just awful. Everything about it was awful. It was terrible. It was the worst thing ever. <sighs> and more importantly, things were really effectively messing me up. So here we are, layer two. It doesn't look like there's any secret path back here before the entrance, so... Lucky us, we can just dive right into the main dungeon itself. And I have no idea what to expect. We do know that uh, the uh, illusionary walls are a thing. I can find my words. So there's something that we've started to encounter. Of course the door doesn't open from the side. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Yep. Bring your clangy lantern. Okay, so things take a lot of hits to kill. Got it. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't upgraded or uh, repaired my Tonatrus in a little bit. Yeah, it's at like two-thirds strength. So I do need to be careful about that. It is something I really want to avoid using unless I absolutely have to use it. Okay, I don't see any slimes or other nasty things. So I'm assuming we're safe for now. Boy, that's a dangerous assumption to make. Okay, well, rats. Rats are in here. Hello, rat. And of course, the chain whip is not terribly useful in these enclosed spaces where we're hitting the walls. Oh, hello. That's what was making that sound. I'm glad that I was moving really, really slow, because I was not paying attention to that at all. That's a cool looking room. Something else just died on its own, which I'm always cool with. Okay, so there's an up path, and then there's this path, which had, like, just all of the rats swarming around off in the distance. Maybe get the chain whip ready. Maybe also get some Molotovs ready. There's so many of them and they're all just moving in a giant swarm over there. Well, I have no qualms about fighting you only like one or two at a time. That is actually the best way to do this. I know there's one off to my right. Oh boy, here we go. Chain whip, go. Oh my gosh. The whip is pretty effective at clearing rooms. I got lucky with a couple of those hits, though. 
Yeah, I'm remembering I wanted to get blood chunks. That was the thing that I really, really, really wanted to do before coming back in here. And it has not happened. I have no blood chunks. So I have not been able to upgrade my gear. I have the one. It'd be so great if I actually had a stronger weapon. If all of my weapons were stronger. Oh, that'd be so good. But alas, we'll have to make do with just killing rats in like a whole bunch of hits. Oh, this is all... This is oil. Something was oil. This is oil. I just noticed the debuff. Interesting. Also, I should keep my gun equipped when I'm just running around like this. Because I do have very, 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 very slow HP recovery over time. Because of my gun. Doesn't look like much of a hidden path to me. Looks like a fairly obvious non-hidden path. Alright. What do we got going on over here? Anything? Anything good? Anything scary? I'm gonna say yes to scary things. Ooh, lots of treasure chests, though. Lots of treasure chests. At least two. At least three. I'm so glad there are not mimics in this game. Don't know about the DLC. I'm assuming they're not gonna add mimics in the DLC. That's a trap over there. I don't know, that could be a horrible assumption. How magical. Rope cocktails. Not a thing I've ever really bothered to use, but uh, I could see how they could maybe be useful. Alright, trap no more. And let's see what's down here. Treasure. So maybe probably a couple of tough enemies. And then, yeah, some rare... Oh my gosh. Bunch of you little creatures. Oh, a whole bunch of you little creatures. Alright, well, I got two. I guess it's better than not getting any of them. Lots of tomb molds, which is fine. I don't like those statues. Even if they're not traps, they still creep me out. Okay, well, I could maybe come back and try to get a few more uh, blood gemstones from those other two creatures. I don't know if that's something I really want to do, though. So let's go back out here and cross the bridge. Oh, and there's another one down there, too. And we got a single numbing mist. Fantastic. Get our creepy little messenger friends to light up their lanterns there. You wanna you wanna light them up? You gotta wait for me to go in. They gotta wait for me to go in. That's fine. Oh, you have like a searing hot weapon. That's actually really cool. Oh, there we go. Get him! 
Nope. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's unfortunate. Get him. Whip does have pretty good distance on it. With that long jump attack there? Oh, I like that a lot. Doesn't do tremendous damage. Does not do as much damage as I always want it to do. That's okay. Alright, uh, let's get the beckoning bell going here. And see... If we can get a friend to come help us fight the boss. I know you're right there. I really do just want to, like, do a bungee attack and land on that enemy. Take it. Uh, oh yes. Wrong way. I knew that. It was intentional. And I didn't, like, miss anything else in here, right? I don't think so. I think we're good. Um... Uh, that probably connects to whatever the secret area is, which is likely going to be between the... or, uh, like, on the other side of the boss door. Over here. Alright. What horrible, horrible things await us in here. Okay, that was kind of close, but that worked out okay. Alright, now what do we got in here? This place worries me a little bit. It's narrow. Splashing. Oh, scorpions. We have not encountered you in quite a while. You're back in, like, the very first or second chalice that we did. That's a lot of rats. Let's maybe go up first. And then we'll see if I want to go deal with all the rats. I mean, I do because I like getting free items. Free as in, I'm already here. Should probably just get the items. Oh, hello. Those things are back to being just terrifying. I suspect that in this chalice and beyond, those enemies could probably kill me in one hit. Which is not something I really want to test. Kill it, kill it, kill it! Oh, thank you! Oh, we got a bolt paper. That seems a little unusual. Uh, 
Oh, sweet. It's another one of these rooms. I like these rooms. They're really cool. Hey, we found a resident bell. Um... Well, maybe hang out up here and see if he wants to come party. See if he can come find me. Hey, spicy waifu. They're one of the people that I failed to connect to when... Uh, or they died, I guess, when I tried to connect to them back in my little foray into trying the co-op stuff. That's kind of exciting, I guess. I actually think it was this exact same dungeon, too. Oh good, we got a new trap here, too. We haven't seen these yet. Welcome to the horrible, horrible guillotines. Oh, gosh. Oh, Spicy Waifu might be killing rats. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, and you're standing right in the oil. All right, I gotta be super duper careful here, though, because uh, there's that guillotine trap right behind me. interested in this. Get him, get him, get him. Okay. <laughs> that was terrifying. All right. Probably need to go look for spicy waifu here soon. I haven't seen any souls pop up in a while. Is this our treasure? Is this it? Is this what we've been coming up this whole path to get? Maybe. Probably. Doesn't look like there's anything else to do there. Alright, just stay away from the middle of the path. Should be fine here. I hear nothing down there now. Spicy, spicy waifu, where did you go? Oh, also, we haven't been through here yet, either. Oh, look, it's another freaking guillotine. I don't know if I can roll over the top of him when they're down like that. I don't know. It's not a thing I feel like trying. Oh, hello. Death pit. That's new and unexpected. So that really just goes nowhere. All right, well... Yeah, all the dead rats. But we get all the loot. I believe I saw enemies alive over there.
hear noises. Yeah, there's a like a watcher in there maybe. And some other nasty creatures. Oh come on. Oh come on. Oh my gosh. He stunlocked the crap out of me. I'm not a fan of that. This isn't anything fun like oil, is it? No, it's just water. Or blood, I guess. Did we get somebody else? Did Spicy Waifu go home? Did Spicy Waifu die? Is Spicy Waifu still around? I have no idea. That's a new person. Oh my gosh, these enemies are so freaking sturdy. Oh boy, okay, yep, this is, uh, this is bad. Finish that one off. I can deal with this guy now. Whew, okay, well, you know what? I'll take it. We're live. That was tough, but we're alive. I saw your friend over to the left. I am kind of worried about him. All right, here we go. I think this is the last enemy in the area. And then we get the treasure, and then we can go back and, uh, like, fight our boss and be done. All right. I don't know if this is going to make the, hey, you're done noise for everybody. that noise. We got the workshop haze extractor. Holy crap, I forgot that that was down here. Huh, that's kind of okay. Those are explosive, by the way, which is why the cannon enemies up above are particularly dangerous if you don't deal with them first. Uh, this was rat room. We didn't actually go through this way. I'm going to keep my torch out, though, just so that hopefully we can encounter our friends. I'll oh, curtsy. Hello. Took a little while, but, you know, I got my thing. I'm sorry. I was pretty deep in the weeds. Spicy Waifu, you actually helped out a lot killing all the rats for me. And with this... Oh, this is going to be a fun boss, if this is the one I think it is. Oh, it is. This is like my least favorite boss ever. I had so much trouble with this one particular incarnation of this giant. So, let's see if we can oil him up and maybe get a Molotov going. Yeah, that didn't do anything at all. Yeah, so you may remember this from the last time I fought one of these undead giants. Uh, I mentioned that there was one with like a ball and chain and that he could one-shot me very easily with an attack that had like no wind-up at all. It just happened and then I was dead. Guess what we just fought? Well, that's stupid. We 
got the workshop haze extractor, which is good. I'm just gonna go back, grab my blood echoes, and then, like, Hunter's Mark right on out if I can. Because <clears throat> I do not feel adequately prepared for fighting this one stupid enemy. I hate that he can one-shot me like that. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It's the ball and chain that he's dragging behind him. Like, all... Uh, he's so just stupidly dangerous. I think, like, every one of his attacks can one-shot me. Oh, that actually makes me mad. It feels like a very cheap boss, and I don't like that. All the other bosses are way more interesting. Okay, well. I did a fair bit of grinding. I guess I'm going to level up my health a bunch more. I need to be able to survive a hit from that boss. Very well. So, um, I have two level ups. That is not very many. Farewell, good. And I need like thirty thousand to level up again. Use one of those, you can use one of those, that's not very much. Well, bummer. That is really unfortunate. Um, let's see, do you have anything helpful for sale up here? Lead elixirs and bolt papers are now available. I've never really tried using lead elixirs. Temporarily shifts weight to make deflection of attacks easier, but must be used with care as it also slows movement with no change to defense. What does that even mean? I don't understand. Makes deflection of attacks easier? Does that mean, like, I can interrupt enemies easier with my gun? I can shoot my gun quicker? That seems... backwards. Its recipe for this mysterious concoction is unknown, but some postulate that it materializes only within the most desperate nightmares. <laughs> well... Bummer. Um, I probably should just spend these 15,000 Blood Echoes, maybe? Holt paper costs almost 10,000 apiece. That is pretty ridiculous. There's nothing I really want to buy. Yeah. Feeling pretty good on most of these items. We'll load up on oil urns, though. Those could come in handy. Um, I have a bunch of Bolt Hunter's marks already. There we go. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go grab my Molotovs. I'm also going to end this video. Um, uh, I don't know about fighting that giant yet. I don't feel prepared for it, which is unfortunate, but I don't know what else to do. Oh, yeah, that removes Frenzy. Those are good to hang on to. So, well, yes. Oh, I'm going to check Blood Gems. I'll do that off camera so you don't have to watch me staring at numbers for another 10 minutes or so. Um, yeah, so that was that. Next time, I'm probably going to do either the Nightmare Frontier, or maybe we can just go poke our nose into the beginning of the DLC area and see what that's like. It's probably going to be stupidly hard, and... Yeah, 67. I don't want to go in there until I'm around level 100, I think. So, eh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, thank you all for joining me, and may the good blood guide your way.